Welcome back to Locked In. In the last episode, we got a full set of subjugation and finally conquered the fight kiln for the first time after numerous failed attempts. And in this episode, let's keep it moving. We made a ton of gear and setup upgrades in the last episode, and now I want to put them to the test. So in this episode, although I'm going to do some fundamental things and do some important quests along the way, what I really want to focus on is limit testing. I want to see exactly where I'm at with my gear and my stats and what bosses I can actually do with this setup. To start off, let's see if Legos, Pup, and I are able to possibly do Elite Dungeon 1 to get Pup a Masuda's War Spear. It is a Spear Scythe hybrid weapon that is tier 82, and it would be a huge upgrade for Pup because until he gets a Masuda's War Spear or a Dragon Rider Lance, which he's not going to have anytime soon, the best Halberd type weapon he's going to have access to is a Dragon Halberd, which is tier 60. In order to teleport between the Elite Dungeon chests, you need to do the Impressing the Locals quest, which takes about 5 minutes, so let's start off by getting that quest done. Now that we've impressed the locals, let's see if we can impress the inhabitants of the Temple of Amanishi with our PVMing. I don't have the highest hopes for this one, but let's see what happens. You have- uh, eight, wait, what's your constitution level, Legos? Uh, 57. What?! Yeah. 57?! <laughs> Bro- Oh, it's gonna, it's gonna go up. It's gonna go up here in about, uh, 30 what? seconds. What?! I'm, I'm gonna go make this stuff real quick. Bro, necromancy is- I'm 77 HP. So, mm -hmm. I have 20 HP levels on you. You have 500 HP above- Oh my god. Yeah, the play with low level gear, just tag one mob at a time. Welcome to the temple. Ah, one mob at a time. Perfect. Here. You got catfished to yourself? All what? to myself. You've been hoarding all- I spent the whole day giving you props for all the food hey, you hey, supplied hey, hey, the hey, group. Hey. You've got us I eating literally... peasant food. You got me eating the turkey leg from Disneyland. Hey. And you've got fresh salmon, delicious wanna... wild Atlantic. <laughs> I'm not even the high enough constitution level. It heals the same as desert you... souls right now. All right, now I'm getting hit. All right, no. no! Oh, no. He got omni He omni-powered me. F. Go! Oh my god, 53% hit chance, actually not that bad. Yo, I'm getting cooked already. Ryan, you might not want to stand right there. I know what I'm doing. Okay. Oh, 5 key melee hit! Wow. I, I haven't well, dropped Mr. Full HP. Wow, this I is haven't really dropped full HP. <laughs> yeah, well, I, I have to be MD, that's the problem. And I get hit by all the range autos. Oh, I'm dead. Well. Oh, oh no! Did you? How did you die, yeah. Mr. Necromancer? I was standing in the wrong spot. I don't oh, even get tokens for that. No. Let's go, I'm out of here. I don't even get tokens. I guess you know how you use no food. Yeah. Goodbye, I died. No! Sorry. Door's open! Now it's time for the part that I'm really worried about. But I think we can kill him. Well, I've already got no food. Slowly, so right? I might need to trade Legos again, by the way. Thanks. So these guys, you want to just grab them, just them, not, oh no. That has not gone to plan. Oh no, that's a heal. No. Yeah, yeah as soon as this guy dies, let's run back to Bro, the- Go back to the door, yeah. They didn't actually reset, that's okay, we can kill him. They yep. melee, actually, we could kite all of these if you want to. Wait, it, okay, we aggroed one of the hand tails, I'm actually not mad about that. That's okay. Um, I'm saving my stun for the hand tail, so you guys need to kill the other one. Because if this guy starts fidget spinning, we need to stun him. Oh, a spirit emerald, don't mind if I do. Oh no. Get okay. out of there! I'm good, I'm good, I got it, I sent, I sent, I sent. Careful, 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 careful. Huh? Oh no, there's more on me. There's a lot more on me. Oh That's god. Okay. These, guys, these guys don't spec. These guys don't spec. We're chilling. We're chilling. Chilling is not the word I would use. My heart rate is like 160 right now. Okay, we got three, four more remain. I think they're going to all come together. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they will. Can Let's we stun them. them so they all get stuck? Yes, we can. Okay, so Ooh. just stun spam. That's the the one nice thing about having three of us is we can actually stun lock really well now that there's no splashing. The next room is what I'm most concerned about though, but we're just gonna have to take it slow and kill the stuff. Yeah, kill the two uh, the two rangers first, definitely. I think, uh, does anyone have Devo? I'm gonna grab one of them, just one. Oh, they both come. They're rangers. Just get ready to Devo. Devo now. Nope. Yeah, we're good, we're good. You can stun. You can stun these ones oh, too. Big oh, big pup! Oh, pup! Oh no, he's spinning. He's spinning. He's spinning. Okay, there's one left. Pup, dude, if you're that low, get out of here. He's spinning again. Pup, I gave him food. Careful, brother. I'm committed. Oh! I can't leave the oh, team. Oh, 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 no. oh, I'm out of food. I'm out of food. I'm out of food. This is gonna suck. He only has 550k HP. That's kind of a lot. Are Prayer, you gamers ready? Pr prayers up. Yes. In we go. Let's get it. Oh my gosh. Okay, he does damage. He definitely does damage. 
He's spinning on me. Yeah, I'm, I'm out of there. Bro, Press he's hitting like a bus, bro. Defensives are the way. Eat. Remember, this is magic hits coming. I'm running downstairs, to be honest. Magic. Okay. Move. Again, spinning, run. Oh, gosh. Can I phase him? Okay, we're phased. Okay, okay. So we gotta go together. Lock in. Is it mage? Mage, yeah. Oh my god, those things do so much damage! They really yeah, pop, do. just kill it if you can, honestly. Wait, they really hurt. Like, actually, though. Like, actually. Alright, do we just do the safe spot, then? Wait, I'm gonna... Is there a safe I'm spot? I'm gonna die. Well, it's the safe spot-ish, we just camp down here. It's safe spot, yeah. But... Wait, it makes... Where, where, it makes where's the safe down spot? Here. It's not actually here. a safe spot, but we just camp here and we kill any of them that spawn close. The next part's gonna Shh. suck, though, because his magic attack's gonna slap. We have That's to That's okay, we can spam defensives. That's fine. I took so much damage. Yeah, I was not prepared for those things to hurt that much. Dude, I became the guzzle goat for a second. There's not careful, much careful, I careful! Legos eat! There's like 12 projectiles flying at you. Yeah, if, if you run out, you get tickled. So now defensive spam, I think. Yeah, I'm dead. I had no defensives. <laughs> I used them all to not die to the water. I'm okay, dead. This... Yeah, the, the, the water <laughs> might be a little bit too hard. The water is tough. Oh, no, oh no, that's unlucky. Do you have a... Or nope. Something. We should teleport. This is GG. Nah, this is not. Board. This is it. That was bad luck. That was bad luck. So it's seven one. Ooh, Ryan's got... oh, I'm dead. Yeah, if that that Two. I thought the water thing died to my volley, but it didn't, Three. and so there was nothing I could do. What? Ryan's that was not seven three. attacks. Oh yeah, it's not seven. Like it's it's just not. Ah, I thought it was. Seven. It's random. Oh nah, well, it no. being random is a little weird. Okay, we are clearly not ready for Masuda. That boss is absolutely brutal. Considering that a number of deaths were incurred at the Elite Dungeon 1, I've got a death forfeit to do. And this time around, I'm gonna spin this wheel with all of my teammates on it, and whoever it lands on can ask me to do whatever they want for an hour. Wait, Lego, show me your invent. I wanna see how much food uh, you've used. I gave it all to Ryan. Okay, pop. Oh, okay. okay, cool. What happens now? You get to pick, get to pick. something so for me to you... do for an hour, and I'll spend an hour an grinding hour. it for you. One hour uh -huh. of whatever you Ooh. want. You know what? Yeah. <laughs> Spend an hour gathering snake grass for me. That's <laughs> I mean, I, I, it had to be it had to be a secondary for her blow. I just wasn't sure what, you know? Tell me it's me. <laughs> it's me! Run. Oh, let's go. Pup has spoken, and now I have to spend a full hour picking snake grass so that he can turn them into prayer potions. This is gonna absolutely suck, but honestly, fair play to him. He's the person who's meant to be training Herblore, and I'm about to get him an absolute ton of secondaries. Pup also owes a death forfeit to me, and for that, I'm gonna send him to the gem mine for an hour, because I could use some crafting experience. A few episodes ago, we unlocked managing miscellanea, and now we're gonna check on our loot. In this D&D, your subjects grind resources for you without you having to really do anything so long as you pay them and keep your favor high. So basically, everything that we're gonna reveal in here is awesome loot that required next to no effort, and it's gonna continue to stack up over time. Miscellanea is an awesome early unlock, and you're about to see why. Oh, bro. That is level 62 divination. Dude, we're we're really coming up on uh, on some big stuff here. I've kind of come to the realization that the best way to train smithing by a long shot, it seems very clearly to be to just make dart tips and arrowheads, and then I can use them for fletching training or give them to Yoman for his fletching training. But either way, it seems like a really, really good way to train because I get a little bit less XP from making burials, but it turns directly into a crazy amount of fletching XP. Um, Wait, I got 52 mining. Huge. I'm just doing my jots. <laughs> that is level 56 prayer coming in. That's 49 herbler coming in. Thanks, Herbie Werby. Oh, 1400 total too, actually. That's not bad. Oh, it's 10 hunter levels. Tears of Guthix mm. is the goat. Holy. And now I can do oh, yeah, Eagle's can Peak. So Pup has now finished his forfeit to spend an hour mining gems for me. So all of these gems are, are mine. What? Wait, that's insane. <laughs> okay, considering I've got a terror dog task and those only live in one place, let's do the Lair of Tarn Razzle or mini quest so that we're killing two birds with one stone. The bulk of this mini quest is just getting to where the terror dogs are, so we may as well do it on the way. Ow. Wait, there's a banker here. I'm gonna get more food. I'm gonna get more food. Ow. Ho, 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 ho. I'm somewhere completely different. Oh no, I'm so lost. <gasps> no. I'm having a bad time, big pup. It's unfortunate. No! Oh, okay, this is not good. 
I'm just aimlessly clicking on passageways and hoping I get to something I recognize. I can tell. I'm back on the top floor. I'm back at the start! You've not done well with this run, have you? I mean, well, I know I needed food. This is perfect. This is exactly what I needed. Dude, how did I take like 20 turns and end up exactly back in the beginning? Oh no! No! <sighs> no! Are you kidding me? Tarn's lair could absolutely- WHAT?! It seems like you're having some issues. I just disabled the trap! It says, you hear a click, you disable the trap! It was already pressed from last time, so I, I re-enabled it? You're telling me okay. I put the trap back together, and then I walked into it? Ryan, we, we've been trying to keep the YouTube episodes to like sub 40 minutes, so if you can get this done, it'll be, it'll be kind of good. I made it! Let's go, dude! Okay, that only took five minutes and one try, YouTube. Five minutes and one try, let me tell you right now. That's how good we are. Look at the Tarn the Riz Lord. Okay, sorry. I'm gonna say it before it. What the mount? No, not say. Never mind. I can't say that. Oh, now he's a ghost. Oh, he's even weaker. Did I win? Is there a phase three? There is not. That is five thousand Slayer experience. That is a hard Mortania task. That's crazy. And then most importantly, if we go in here, we can get Tarn's diary that I can use to enchant my salve amulet and get a salve amulet E. We're gonna absolutely bring that with us, bank it for sure. Grabbing it is also gonna release the terror dogs as well, which is great, because that is what my slayer task is for some reason. <laughs> All right, <laughs> the lair of Tarn Rizzler, mini quest complete. Uh, so now if I use the diary on that, we now have a salve amulet E, which actually has insane stats, insane prayer bonus, 20% damage and hit chance against undead. Unreal. Actual good upgrade. Also, for those that don't understand what I'm doing, basically, whenever you get assigned a task and you don't want it, you can go back to a level 1 Slayer Master and replace it with a level 1 task. You're basically saying that the task is too hard for you. And then, as long as you don't care about your task streak, which doesn't matter to me now because I don't even have a task streak, and you don't care about your Slayer points, which I don't care about because I don't have a task streak, you could just infinitely do that until you get the task that you want. So... Instead of having to do a whole task of lengthy mobs that I don't want, I can just kill a couple of wolves and then get out of here. In the last episode, we discussed working towards the city of Senison quest as a long-term goal, and one of the requirements for that quest is level 75 Slayer. And I'm a little nervous about it because early level Slayer is extremely slow. So I want to investigate an interesting piece of tech that could make Slayer training an absolute breeze for the entirety of this series. The Cerberus Juvenile boss at the start of Elite Dungeon 4 is a completely safe spottable mini boss that we previously did in an earlier episode for some dungeoneering tokens, but surely a mini boss that looks like that is a hellhound, right? I'm gonna get myself a hellhound task, and if the Cerberus Juvenile boss counts as a hellhound, we are gonna get an absolutely insane amount of XP, and one single task is gonna last a very long time. I have no idea if this even works or what the XP is per kill, but I'm only imagining that it could be absolutely ridiculous. Hellhounds! 180 hellhounds? Okay. <laughs> Hold up. This might be ridiculous. 10,000 Slayer XP on the dot. Wait, I'm gonna get a level every kill. And it counts as one hellhound. So this one task is gonna get me level 80 Slayer. Okay, yeah, even now when missing a bunch of upgrades and things that I could do to make this run even faster, I'm getting over 200,000 Slayer experience an hour. That is insane. I'm getting a level every kill. <laughs> 10k Slayer XP per kill is like... I mean, spirit cape. That's 52 Slayer. That is 55 Slayer coming in. That is 58 Slayer coming in. I love seeing all of the like Slayer mobs we're unlocking. That is 87 magic coming in and 108 combat. That is level 59 Slayer. Okay, so we've now done 17 Hellhound kills. I just wanted to look at the loot really quick and see what we made. So we made about a million coins, two elite clue scrolls, a lot of supersets, some stone spirits, an okay amount of runes, some herbs. Okay, so the loot is, is not insane from this, but the supersets are good. The crystal keys are good too. 
The alchemist keys are interesting too, because that can actually open up the alchemist chest. What if there's like something, something absolutely epic in here? All right, ready? <clears throat> Five Are ashes. Quest think. For this? I thought this was a mini quest. All nice bolt tips. Snake hide. Mud runes. Toad flax. Dude, wait, the ashes are actually really good for pair XP. Wait, I think I want to do an alchemist key opening video. Ooh, I just got like 50 engineering from just like a regular witch. That yeah, is we did it. level 60 Slayer coming in, which means I think I could do what, Ankus? Grinded it out. That is level 61 Slayer coming in. I'm not gonna go all the way to level 75 today because there are some other upgrades that I think I could get to further improve the method later on down the line, but that's Slayer training sorted. And whenever we need to get 75 Slayer, it is gonna be as easy as hitting up the Cerberus Juvenile boss for a couple hours and we'll be done. I kind of can't believe this works. Before we go back to limit testing, I wanna do a couple crucial quests. First off, let's do the Legacy of Sergei's quest, which unlocks the ability to craft blood runes. We're not quite there yet, but as the person whose style locked to magic, I have a feeling I'm gonna need to make a lot of trips to the Blood Altar. So let's get ahead of things and get this quest done now. And thanks to all of the gems that Pup kindly mined for me for his death forfeit, I actually have all the requirements to start the quest. Yeah, this is my son, uh, Fist and Angelus. We call him Fist for short. Crazy. Help! Wait, I'm gonna kill him! Oh wait, this is why I need two combat styles! No, I don't. No, I don't. I'm the mage user on the team. These enemies will use prayer to become immune to your combat style. Okay, well... We, I think we did okay. Okay, I was gonna go through, uh, you know what, I'll just run, I'll just run. I feel like sometimes as a RuneScape player, I teleport way too often at times that I really don't need to. I could have teleported and saved five seconds, but we have been given legs for a reason. Hello, monster mercenary. All right, let's go. Um, wait. Wait, did bro invoke the gas for me? Nah, this guy might be the goat. If nobody got me, I know. Unnamed mercenary adventurer has got me. That's unreal. POV, your pup completing a death forfeit. That, I honestly, I don't even think that qualifies as a ladder. It is a post that you've stuck, this is closer to a climbing wall. Bro, am I, am I about to jump the fire? Holy. Use the coal on the furnace. And Myrditch now has a beautiful functioning furnace. That is really cool. I love the idea that we're like secretly while well, the Virewatch try to oppress everybody. Like we're secretly like getting stuff going, you know? I've got to return to Flagian. Bro, can I not unlock this door? Brother. Wait, for real? But I'm in the... Okay, whatever. We go the long way. Dude, Flagian looking like a little bit of gamer back coming. Bro is a little dilapidated. Use the saw in my tool belt. Dude, why couldn't I just do this in the furnace room? If I've got the ability to cut a door... Just like that? Surely I could have done it in the furnace room. Dude, Safflin, be careful. He's kind of swaying. Dude, bro is just getting gobbled up. I feel like Sunshine is going to break the cutscene. Maybe I should have done that. Oh, it works? Bro, I literally, I completely broke this cutscene. That was a close call. And then talk to Safflin. Okay, we've got the Evandus Flail. This guy seems like an easy target. All right, editor, I need to replace every hit splat with magic. That's the legacy of Sergei's quest complete. An absolute ton of XP. I mean, honestly, for this difficulty of a quest, it's it's XP and a lot of skills. If that's worth anything, two quest points. Most importantly, though, the ability to craft blood runes. 49 crafting coming in as well. And then we've also got three tomes of XP that we can put on any skill that is above level 50. We'll get some herb levels. Not a bad thing. All right, bang. And we are now level 50 Herblore. I could finally make those fishing potions that I wanted to make. And the next quest we're doing actually has a reward that I genuinely desperately need. So the next quest that we're gonna be doing is the Family Crest quest, which actually has some wrecks, 40 crafting, mining, smithing. It is a fun quest with a demon boss fight at the end. It is very, very easy. So the way that this quest works is we need to do favors for these, these dudes. We basically find out that we're doing a trade with each of them for a piece of the crest, but then the final piece of the crest gets stolen by a demon, and then we've got to fight the demon. How do you know what happens? You haven't done the quest yet. Um, I can just narratively, the one year I spent in film school prepared me, 
and I now I know how every plot line. You give me the start, I'll tell you the middle and the end. I just I just know, you know? Welcome to the Edgeville dungeon. So I need to use the elemental blast spells. Okay, one of each. Perfect. All right, it's demon time. Okay, that's air. That's water. Wait, he doesn't even fight back? That's earth? That's fire. Does he really not? Wait, why isn't he fighting me back? Dude, I was so excited for that boss fight. Bro, I'm actually so whelmed right now. Are you kidding me? That is the family crest quest complete. Actually a very useful quest to get done. We're now at 180 quest points. And I'm actually pretty stoked about the gauntlets because we can do either smelting gauntlets or cooking gauntlets. I don't plan on doing fishing and cooking anytime soon. So we're going to go to Alcreed right now. We're going to change these into smithing gauntlets. And then what they let you do is they let you smelt instead of bars into your invent. They let you use the metal bank automatically. So what that means is it lets you smelt 60 bars at a time instead of 28. And then it also, I believe it speeds up your smelting of bars by one singular game tick. So instead of taking um, 1.8 seconds, they take 1.2. We may have conquered the God Wars dungeon in the last episode, but what about second God Wars? Hellwar in God Wars 2 is the next boss that we're going to have to grind. And I want to get an idea what it's like to kill because Hellwar drops a full set of tier 80 power magic armor and a tier 85 wand and orb, which are going to be the best magic weapons that I'm going to have access to for a very long time. Before we go to Hellwar though, I'm going to do the Tales of the Heart mini quest, which grants an anima crystal that's going to give me some Saren reputation. See, in God Wars 2, there's a reputation system, where the more work you do for one of the four warring factions, the better your drop rates get. This starts from a default 0% bonus, and it will go all the way up to 100%, which also means you'd have double drop rates. This crystal that's rewarded from the Tales of the Heart quest is going to get us that first 25% of our reputation right off the bat. It's not perfect, but it's a really good start. We won't be able to get all the way to 100% for a good long while, but I'm happy starting off Hellwar with a 25% increased chance to get a drop, especially considering almost every unique on the drop table is awesome. Awesome. And there we go. That is Tales of the God Wars mini quest complete. So we got a bunch of Heart of Gilnar teleports that'll take me directly here. We got an XP lamp and we also got an Anima Crystal, a 30k summoning XP lamp that I probably should have put into prayer. Well, why don't we get geared for Hellwer? We're just doing one kill, but I'll get geared for it because it's probably gonna hurt a lot. Hellwer is kind of a fun boss because if you do the mechanics right, you should be able to no food it. But if you don't do the mechanics right, you get absolutely nuked. All right, here we go. Okay. Res the first hit. What? My res is on cooldown. Oh God, now I'm bleeding. Oh, this sucks. Oh, this is bad, bad, dude. Okay, and then after that, then I do that. Freedom. Vuln. Sunshine. Okay, we're fine. Actually, my AoEs are good. Okay. There's the rezo that we're looking for. And then if I stand this way, I believe. More. When he does that, I get to stay in my sunshine. Yeah, cool. There's the Detto. Get the minions down. So far, I haven't used a ton of food. So right here. I need to stand this part of my sunshine and then check this out. I use a bleed. Hellwer is going to walk it. And then I go here. And then I'm attacking Hellwer while I'm in my sunshine. Very cool. There's the rezo. Then we need to move this way. Yeah, we're doing great. We can absolutely do Hellwer. I'm not going to say like with ease, but like kind of. Wait, we're under three. We're at, the, we're at a three minute kill right now without an aura or without a good aura. There we go. Get one more rezo. And what do you got for your boss? Here we go. The first Hellwer kill on the group iron. Okay. I got my sigil piece. Yeah, that was sick. 320. Okay, that went pretty well. I don't think I'm quite ready to lock myself with this boss for hundreds of kills, but I'm glad at the very least that we can, in fact, get a kill. That's a good start. We're about to go to Karapak, but not everyone on the team is quite ready. So instead of waiting around, I'm going to go to Dagonoth Kings. Worst case, I get some Dagonoth bones. Best case, I could get a dragon hatchet or possibly even a ring. Dude, that is my 100th Dagonoth Rex kill. I don't know what the drop rates are, but I feel like... I feel like a 100 kill count probably gives you permission to, like slightly complain. It's a 1 in 64 for any drop. Okay, cool. Yeah, we'll get something soon then. Perfect. See? Definitive proof that I'm not getting spooned at every boss. Just most of the important ones. Doesn't look like Kara's happening. Ask him in his Twitch chat. Is he so locked in that he's not reading the game chat? He's just that locked in. He's absolutely dialed right now. 
Good morning. I heard my team is trying to reach me. So yeah. we have a we have a proposition for you. I'm in. I don't care what it is. I'm in. Okay. Uh, we were gonna go snape grass collecting together because it went really well yesterday. Oh. Oh. Okay. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. I don't have terror bird yet, but you know that. All right. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. Sure. Okay. You agreed to too much. You you are saying yes way too easily. I, I I like group content. If we're doing stuff as a group, I'm in. I, I love in. the spirit. I respect the hell out of that. You are you are a fan favorite. Uh, <laughs> no, we were gonna do a normal mode care pack. Uh, sure. Yeah, we're yeah. gonna do trio normal mode care pack. It I, I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna. <gasps> I got a warrior ring for pup. Huge. Wait, let's go. I'm very happy for Pup. Pup deserves this. Heading into Karapak, we're looking for a few important drops. Unlike Hellward, there aren't any weapon upgrades or an armor set here, but there are other uniques that are extremely useful. Let me take you through them right now. The first is the Scripture of Jazz, which is a pocket slot item that stores damage and then releases it, and this book would be good for everybody on the team. The second unique that's important are the Karapak Wrist Wraps, which massively increase the damage dealt from the combustibility. These are tier 85 power magic gloves, and these would be the first actual genuine piece of situational best in slot for me, where I would get them, and they would technically be part of my final best in slot magic setup. And last, but certainly not least, we have Greater Concentrated Blast, which is, in my opinion, the single strongest ability upgrade in all of RuneScape. I'm not going to bore you with the numbers, but this thing is absolutely busted to the point that if we are able to get this codex, it's literally game over for every boss in RuneScape. I am not even exaggerating. This ability is absolutely ridiculous. So eventually, we're going to want to do a lot of Kara Pack and make sure we get this thing done. Do you think Kara Pack is going to give us a Kara package? Wait, we wait, get wait, G Conk, wait, we retire. Wait, wait. I mean, right, you a let's go. 47 percent hit chance. Oh, wait, it's gonna get better. It's gonna get better. Don't worry, I got this. 50. Mine's 73. 73. I'll risk it for you. Oh god, I missed. And I'm stunned. Oh, oh. I just need to run this one, unfortunately. Mm. Oh, I'm dead. No, 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 no. I'm dead. I didn't he have actually freedom. Died. I didn't have freedom. I was just oh, promised on. You can come. You can come back. You can come back. We phased it. We phased it. Yeah, the full fit wheel out, boys. So is this just really well timed surging and escape? Ow! No! No! What? The clone? It happened again. Oh no! <laughs> Leave me alone. Okay, I'm just gonna time it. Oh my god! The whole room is just riddled with nonsense. I like where Ryan takes big mage hits and prays melee and wonders why he takes big mage hits. You just don't understand. Oh, this is this is cake. I'm actually humming right now. He's buzzing. Go. Big PR. What did he get for loot? I got coins. I got stone spirits. <laughs> Un unironically, un unironically, all the stone spirits you get from any bosses, I'd love to have them in the storage so I can use them for stuff. Yeah, oh, they're they're going in there right now, man. I don't want these. All right, I know that was rough. Could we do another kill and see if we can we can refine? What do you mean rough? I used three pieces of food. Okay, <laughs> Raziel's young apprentice. What? I'm getting blasted, Legos. Yeah, I'm reflecting. Wait, reflex on cooldown. Oh no, this is bad. Oh, yeah, I got, Devo, face, I got the Devo. I got the Devo. I can't. I can't out. I can't out heal it. Oh no. Keep eating. You got dead. a ghost. You got a ghost. I'm eating, but I'm gonna die. I'm so dead here. I died. Good luck, team. Okay, I'm, I'm, the I'm the guzzle no, goat. I'm the guzzle goat. I I can't out heal. Out heal I'm this. the guzzle goat. Don't you worry, team. <gasps> Help. No. I'm back in. I'm back in. I'm back yes! in. Yes. Yes. Let's go. Please. <laughs> Somebody else gotta get back here soon okay, though, because I I'm can't coming back. Heal up I'm buying myself. I'm buying myself. One You're more second. One more I'm hit. In. I'm dead. I'm, in, man. I'm, I'm, in. I'm, I'm dead. The boss has 2,000 light points. Just hit. Just kill the boss. I'm trying. Oh my god, he hurts so much. Res. Oh you my got, god. I got primal stone spirits. Holy crap. <laughs> I got 200k. I'm rich. I'm rich. I got uh, 150k of alcohols. That was insane. Look at all the bones. Wait, I'm getting a, I'm getting a shot of that. That's so funny. 
This is video. I love I'm in free cam and my screen is red around the free cam because my light points are so low. This is yeah, what I, success uh... looks like. Care pack went okay, but we also kind of got blasted. Good intel, and if three of us are on, we can probably make it work, and I'm gonna continue going back. Okay, I'm gonna go back to Cerberus to get me through a little bit more of my Hellhound task, and also get myself enough Dungeoneering tokens for the Ring of Vigor, which is a really important unlock. The Ring of Vigor will save me 10% adrenaline from every single special attack and ultimate ability I use, so it's something I'm gonna be using for the entire rest of this series. It's basically a piece of best in slot, and after the Extinction quest, I'll also be able to make it into a passive so that I have it active at all times. But for right now, because I can't do the Extinction quest yet, it's gonna be a switch ring that I'm gonna put on before every ultimate ability and every special attack. That is 65 Slayer coming in. Nice little level coming in. And 100,000 Dungeoneering tokens as well. Noise comes through. That is 66 Slayer and 88 Magic coming in. Not too bad, not too bad. And we're gonna, uh, we're gonna keep on farming. That is level 67 Slayer coming in. So we can kill, what, crest bots? That's too funny. Uh, most importantly, though, now I should be able to buy a Ring of Vigor, which is an absolutely massive upgrade, by the way. So the first thing that we need to do for it is I can buy it, but I need 62 Dungeoneering. So why don't we get 62 Dungeoneering? I'm going to click on this. We are going to buy 100,000 Dungeoneering XP. Bang. I am now level 62 Dungeoneering. And now we can buy the Ring of Vigor, which is actually a really, really good ring. It also has better stats than the Ring of Wealth too. So we can actually just camp it for now, probably. Dude, we're so geared out right now. I cannot get over how good our setup is. That's sick. Also, wait, 67 Slayer is the wreck for Branches of Dark Bear. That's too funny. Now it's time for the recaps. During this episode, Pup got to 75 attack and is now able to equip the Vanquish, which is a tier 75 melee weapon for him. He also did a bunch of Cerberus for Dungeoneering tokens and Slayer experience and killed Vindicta for the very first time. Pup also got level 50 runecrafting, so he can finally join me as someone in the group who's able to make Vizwax. I didn't put a whole lot of Vizwax in the group storage, so I think this is his passive aggressive way of saying, fine, I'll do it myself. Yeoman went and unlocked the God Banner, which is going to give him a two-level skill boost in pretty much every skill in the game that can be used once a day for 30 minutes. This is really helpful for a lot of skilling because it allows you to reach a little bit beyond what your current level is for a sustained period of time without having to do any lobby tricks or anything else to keep your boosted skill from dropping. It's a really good unlock that I will absolutely be getting at some point, but he's the trailblazer on this one and he's got it already. Yeoman also completed the succession quest and unlocked Dive and did some Barrows runs where he received an Aram's Book, which is a tier 70 magic offhand. I woke up in the morning to find it securely placed in group storage, and although I was very confused to see it, that is a welcome surprise, because that is a great option, especially if when we go to Hellwer, I end up getting a wand before I get myself an orb. Legos got his tier 70 necromancy weapons, and also somehow had 9,200 life points at level 57 constitution, because necromancy gives you an absolutely crazy amount of HP bonus. Outside of that, he completed the regicide quest, got himself a bone crusher, and he also ran out of money, so that's gonna be something he's gonna have to remedy pretty soon. Last but not least, Bunny Bop hit 1k total and had a pretty busy couple days with work, so she wasn't on quite as much as the rest of the group for this episode. And with the recaps out of the way, that is the end of the episode. Thank you all so much for watching, I really appreciate it. If you enjoyed the video, feel free to leave a like and a subscribe for more awesome RuneScape content. Outside of that, as always, let me know if there's anything I can do to make these videos better, and I will catch you very soon for the next one.